Schools like Mazik Middle behind me could benefit from renovation money and new schools could be built if the property tax increase goes through. The president of the Jefferson County Teachers Association says they're not going to jeopardize that if a petition designed to overturn the property tax increase isn't even legitimate. The number of valid signatures is nowhere near what the clerk validated. It's thousands less. An ongoing analysis paid for by the Jefferson County Teachers Association suggests the no JCPS tax hike petition fell short. The organization says it collected 43,320 signatures, mostly online, calling for a referendum on the property tax increase. The group needed 35,517 signatures, or 10% of the popular vote in the JCPS school district from the last presidential election. The county clerk's office threw out 1,813 signatures, but JCTA's president says many more should have been invalidated. We were absolutely shocked when we saw thousands of uh, completely wrong addresses, completely wrong, not even close dates of birth, and when we saw over a thousand names counted multiple times. In one case, one person was counted four times by the clerk with the exact same name, date of birth, and address. The property tax increase is seven cents for every $100 of appraised value. Teresa Camariano of No JCPS Tax Hike is optimistic. It's entirely possible that there are a few more duplicates that the county clerk and we missed, uh, and those would have to be removed. And the law is that if you can identify identify the voter from that signature, then it counts. Camariano dismissed the notion that incorrect birth dates and addresses invalidated signatures. I think it's telling that JCPS is trying to prevent the people from having a vote on this. I think the people should have a right to vote on this tax increase. Now, there is a sense of urgency here. This all has to be resolved by September the 25th in order for the referendum to get put on the ballot. Mark Manderoff, WLKY9.